Did you have any luck getting through to Tenzin? No one's answering. What if Zaheer is already up there? I should never have let Opal go. It's going to be okay, Sue. I hope so. We have a strong signal, but no one's answering. I can't just sit around here while a madman is on his way to the Northern Air Temple. We have to do something! Already my airship. With a full force of the Metal Clan security backing us, we can take them. We'll never make it up there before Zaheer. There might be another way to stop him. It's a long shot, but Zaheer is always meditating into the spirit world. And I know exactly where he goes. Jaivau's Grove. If I could find him there, maybe I could somehow trap him. We can't protect you in there. I don't like it. I'll be fine. I have to try. I'll watch over her as she meditates. I guess, in the meantime, Mako and I will stay here and try to get through to the temple. We'll help Sue ready the airship. I'm going to take a nap. Zaheer! Come out! Face me! Leave the airbenders out of this! There you are. Please don't hurt me, Cora. I'm just an old man. Iroh? What are you doing here? I was just out searching for a new teapot to add to my collection, but instead, I found you. <laughs> In the spirit world, you always seem to find something you didn't know you were looking for. You look troubled. I am. Sid, what is on your mind? There's a maniac on the loose, and he's threatening to destroy the new Air Nation. I don't know what to do. Just because you are the Avatar doesn't mean you will have all the answers. I know many Avatars have needed guidance, but I'm the only one since Avatar 1 that can't get help from my past lives. I wish I could talk to Aang. You know, Zuko and Aang were close friends. Lord Zuko? Of course. Yes, my nephew. Their relationship started off a little rocky, but they grew to become lifelong friends. Best friends. Thank you. Thank you so much. You're right about the spirit world. I came here looking for someone else, but I'm glad I found you. Did you find Zaheer? No, he wasn't there. But there's someone I need to talk to. You're leaving? Aren't you coming to the Air Temple with us? I'm sorry, but I can't. I'm going back to the Fire Nation. If it's true that the Red Lotus is targeting the nation's leaders, I need to protect my daughter. I understand. You have to keep the Fire Lord safe. But before you leave, I was wondering if you could help me with something. I was often Aang's counsel, and I'd love to be yours. That's just it. You knew Aang better than anyone. I was wondering if you knew what he might do if he were in my situation. Hmm. Rebuilding the Air Nation was Aang's biggest dream. He would be beside himself with joy with what you've done. And if he accomplished that goal, he might have sacrificed anything to protect it. So he would give himself up to save the Air Nation? I don't know for sure. The Airbenders might have been closest to Aang's heart, but as the Avatar, he was concerned with people of all nations. No one knew better than Aang that in times of turmoil, the world needs its Avatar the most. Thanks. Your uncle was right. It was helpful talking to you. Wait. You spoke with my uncle? Yes. In the spirit world. A couple of times, actually. Guys! We got through to the Air Temple! I told you, it's Bolin! Bolin's not here right now. Can I take a message? No, I'm not looking for Bolin! I am Bolin! Ah, oh, look, I need you to find your dad! He's outside with the bison. Did you know we found a whole herd full of baby bison? No, a whole herd? Really? <laughs> Milo, this is your commanding officer. Go get your dad now! Yes, sir! Come on, come on. Hello, this is Tenzin. Tenzin, listen to me carefully. 
Zahir is on his way to the temple. He's coming for the airbenders. You have to get everyone out of there immediately. Drop everything. Leave, now! Oh, no. What? What is it? Tenzin! Tenzin, what's happening? It's too late. He's here. <laughs> 